What's going on guys this is your host AZ and yesterday we had a news that AMD actually leaked naming scheme of all the Polaris graphics card that is going to be launching this year till December 2016. I'll be linking that video in the description below and as you can see the card up there you can go ahead and watch that news. But today AMD itself confirmed the naming scheme and how they are naming the graphics cards like Radeon RX 480, Radeon RX 470 graphics cards and what do the different prefixes that are used in the name actually mean. So we are going to be talking about that in this video. So for reference we are going to be taking a name for example Radeon RX 480 that's the full name of the graphics card. So from moving left to right we are going to be going step by step and seeing what AMD says that what each of the alphabet and number actually means. So first of all we have the Radeon that's pretty simple the graphics card from AMD Radeon is going to be named as Radeon at first. Now moving ahead towards the right we have the RX. Now what does this RX means? Now AMD says that any graphics card which has greater than 1.5 teraflops of performance and has 100 gigabits per second memory speed or greater than that is going to be having this prefix in its name and any graphics card which has less than 1.5 teraflops of performance and less than 100 gigabits per second memory is not going to be having the RX in its name. This 1.5 teraflops of performance and 100 gigabits per memory speed corresponds to the 60 FPS at 1080p in popular games such as Dota 2 and League of Legends etc. What AMD is talking about right here, the graphics card that gives us 60 FPS 1080p gaming performance in the Dota 2 and League of Legends games like these is going to be having a prefix known as RX in its name. Now moving on ahead we have the 4 in name. Now this 4 is actually corresponding to the generation number. Now we know that GCN is at 4th generation so this series 400 series is going to be 4th generation series and is going to be named as 4 in its naming. Now moving on ahead we have the next digit. Now this next digit is for the tier number. Now the tier, what are tiers? These are actually the market segments like 4K, 1440p and 1080p. Now for AMD there are three market segments that they are going to be touching with these graphics cards. First one is 4K, the second is 1440p, the next is 1080p. Now we know that RX 480 is going to be for 1440p. So if we find 8 in the name, we know that it's for 1440p. Like 480. AMD also showed that the 9 in the name like 490 will actually be for 4K. 9 for the 4K, 8 and 7 for the 1440p, 6 and 5 for the 1080p. Now 470 is also for the 1440p. We are yet to see the performance of the 470. We have not seen that how it performs in 1440p but AMD is actually categorizing these GPUs according to their naming schemes. Now if you want a GPU for the 4K, you should get a GPU with 9 in its tier number. If you want to get for 1440p 60 FPS, you need to get 80. And if you want 30 FPS experience, then maybe 470. We are yet to see that. Now for the 1080p, AMD listed 6 and 5. 460 and 450 will be the numbers for this generation, 550 and uh, 560 for the next one. Now. The next digit which is the last one which we have a 0 in the RX 480 is actually the Rivian number. Now AMD is telling here that if you have a 0 there that means it's first Rivian and if you have a 5 there that means it's second Rivian graphics card. AMD didn't tell that it will have more Rivians but they said that each graphics card can have two Rivians. So if you see a 0 in the name that means it's first Rivian. If you see a 5 in the name that means it's second Rivian. Okay so guys this was the naming scheme that AMD is using for his graphics cards and we are going to be seeing these naming schemes in the coming years. Now what do we extract from this? We found out that the Radeon is going to be having RX graphics cards and simple graphics cards which are not with RX. The RX graphics cards are going to be 1.5 teraflops or more of performance. The new graphics cards are going to be having Rivians. If you find a 9 in the name it's for 4K. If you find 8 and 7 in the name that means it's for 1440p. Now we don't know that AMD is actually going to be following these rules for the next 500 series and the 600 series or so but for this series this is a proper guideline to see that what do you want to buy if you want to go for 1440p maybe buy 480, 470, if you want to buy for 4k then maybe wait for the 490. So this is what AMD has categorized their graphics cards as as of now. And I hope you found this video helpful guys if you did then leave a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below what you think about this naming scheme and the leak that happened yesterday was removed by AMD from their website. So 
this is good that they showed us that how they name their graphics cards now so guys i'm gonna be going out now you have a fun day peace